Hello everyone, Master Zion 1001 here, and in this video I wanted to talk about the latest update to Hardop 0098.1, which can be downloaded from all markets as we speak. Uh, this one isn't a major update, more of a utility update to ensure that new customers have the uh, best possible experience stepping in the door. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice when you enable this new hard ops is this new icon in the top right corner. Currently we haven't yet set the ability to move the icon. However, if you open this, it will open up to the hard ops helper um, that'll just have buttons here set up for you to uh, quickly get started with the hard ops workflow. The next tab actually has render settings. Of course, EVLQ and HQ are here. If we click these, it will simplify the scene in order to allow us to work with HQ being everything maxed back out. Under render settings, we can turn on refraction. We can turn on bloom. And now we're back to where we were. Uh, in addition to that, we'll collapse this. We added bake options so that you can bake your indirect lighting and your cube maps if you're into EV baking from the viewport. And then of course, if you wanna select your objects and export them, you can do that by just clicking on this. It will automatically check, use triangulated, and use selection so you can quickly get this to 3D code or whatever application of choice. The next thing is something I'm quite proud of, and that is that the entire helper is now in the top bar button, meaning that in the event that you wanna list all of your modifiers, you can. So we'll go to this object. Actually, where's the actual scene at? Here we go. On layer three. So we'll just select this object. And if we bring down the drop down, you can see that all the modifiers that are creating this object are listed here. So ideally, you'll be working in full screen and you'll be able to have all your modifiers listed here for toggling them off and on. In addition to that, you have your material panel where you're able to set up materials and also the bug where materials don't automatically assign actually doesn't occur right here for some reason. Uh, also, interestingly, the entire kit ops panel has been added. So instead of using the end panel, you can just click on this, bring up kit ops, use it as you need it, get rid of it with your mouse off. The next thing is the bevel helper. In the event that bevel modifiers are present on the object, you will have the option for the bevel helper, which has turned out to be a bit of a hit. Here we are able to turn it off and on. And then finally, you have the hops help tab, which will take you to documentation, the latest videos, the manual, the discord channel, uh, user board, where you can see other work that people have done, the challenge board in case you're looking for an asset to make, Facebook group in case you're looking for friends. And with that, We'll wrap up this video and I'll see you guys next time.